Right up morning guys, welcome to today's video. I got the posse out here. <laughs> Whenever I come out, chickens just come and run. So uh, this morning I came down and did chores and uh, Posey wouldn't come back up with me. She was busy looking for food. And then I just decided like, if she doesn't want to come up, I'm just gonna leave her down here and see what happens. I gave her a bucket of water and I left her out here. So now I just wanna check and make sure she's okay. I put this here so she couldn't get out because I think this is how she gets out, in and out. She gets in and out of this field. So if I leave, Winston's not happy today. If I leave and she comes out and then she goes right up there, jumps through that fence and goes into the horse area. But it worked, you guys, she stayed. She stayed, she's locked in. But you should not be eating this stuff. This is not for eating, but thank you very much for trying. Aw, did you miss her? I think Ellie missed Posey. I know Posey missed us, but anyway, she's just laying here, kind of in the shade. She can go inside the barn where it's nice and cool. She can go behind the door where it's nice and cool and there's tons of water in there for her. Um, but if I ever do leave, when I start leaving her down here, I'm going to end up putting like a pool in here, down here so that she can, she can go in the water. But it's my dream that she actually figures out how to roam around the barn and be safe. I'm surrounded by goats. Um, so I saw a couple of comments today. I've been sucking at going into the comments lately. But I had time this morning, Sunday morning. Um, I saw someone say, I thought you were getting another goat, another pig. We are getting another pig. It's a boy pig. He is coming when it's warm. He's been a house pig all his life. So he can't come and just be out here when it's cold. Uh, today is gorgeous. It's like hot, like humid enough for, I would never wear a short sleeve if it wasn't warm. It is warm. Stop eating my camera. So he's coming, I think he's coming at the end of May. Um, so he is definitely coming and Posey's definitely gonna be down in the barn. They can't be together until she's a grown up pig and she's not even close. I think it's August is when they can finally be together. But I don't want, or maybe it's, I think it's August where they can be together. It is so that she doesn't get pregnant. Oh, eventually she'll be on the girl side of the paddock and he will be over here with the boys. I saw a comment that said, you should just put them in a pen, put her in a pen so she can't run away. And that's what I want to avoid. One of our friends has a, a miniature pig and she roams the whole farm. And because she roams the whole farm, she doesn't destroy all the ground. So if you put a pig in a pen, very quickly the pen will come turn to mud because they dig and they root. But if you let them roam free, oh, she's like, you're my, oh, she's biting her tail. <laughs> that's adorable. So if you let them roam free, then they have more opportunity to like be all around the barn and then they don't dig up all the ground. I don't want them in a pen. I don't believe in keeping pigs in a pen. And who knows, maybe one day they'll end up in a pen if it gets unmanageable somehow. But I definitely, that right now, do not want my pigs in a pen. I think that's the worst way to keep pigs, or at least this kind of pig. Pigs are so smart and so clean that when you put them in like a small space and it forces them to go to the bathroom where they play and eat and stuff, then it can be really troublesome for them. It causes depression and stress. And so we're just gonna try and be really careful and mindful not to do that. She seems really happy down here though today. I'm gonna maybe fill up a pool for her because normally if she's ready, like if I leave her down here, she's ready to go back up as soon as I come back down. She's like right by my feet and she won't leave me and she like tries to get me to take her with, take her with me. She tries to get me to take her with me and she's like loving life over there. Winston, <laughs> you are so cute. One of the things that I think is good for her is that the girl goats are really mean and unkind and, and really push her around so she wants to she doesn't want to stay there but over in this field where the boys are they're super gentle and sweet so I'm gonna leave Posey down here a little bit longer and let her explore and and see how long I can leave her because I want to start leaving her down here especially when the weather gets nice just occasionally Sam is out picking up another camera for our new kidding stall which is unfortunate because I have a lot of things that I want him to help me with today what the heck is that noise? Do you guys hear it? What the heck? It's, it's that little bird. <laughs> I don't know what it's trying to do. 
it's trying to climb on top of the roof. I don't know. But anyway, so today it's supposed to rain and the rain is supposed to start really soon. So I have a couple of big jobs that I need to get done. So I'm gonna start them today. One is I wanna clean the chicken coop out. I wanna put sand in there for the summer. Wow, you guys pooped a lot in there already. That's a lot of horse poo. So I wanna put sand in the chicken coop. What are you doing up there? So, because it's easier to clean, all the horses are here except for Honey. Hi, Gracie. Oh my gosh, I need to get you a fly mask already. One hot day and the flies are here. I also saw a comment that saying like, Gabby should have wanted to ride for her birthday and she actually did. We wanted to have like a super fun ride, birthday ride, just to ride around our property. Uh, still, weather is not good here. It's really hot today. The ground is soaked. It's been raining and raining and raining for weeks. It is spring, it's early spring here. So she can't, she couldn't ride on her birthday. She had school and then when she gets home, it's like late and then we get supper and she does homework. She has a lot of homework. I wanted to ride this weekend and the weather's just not good. It's nice and hot right now. It's beautiful. The ground is soaking wet. If we went out riding right now, we would just dig up all the hay where we ride and all the grass where we ride. The ground is so soft. We're super mindful about that. But we're going to have a ride and not only that, but I think Gabby's planning to take Stormy Boy back to lessons this week. Her pride and joy. We have three weeks until gardening season and my garden is still not fixed up and, and ready to plant. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time this morning doing this. It's something that I love to do for me. It gives me like peace and helps me relax. Gardening does. You guys that know, you know. So I'm going to take time for me this morning and away from like barn chores and animal chores and I'm going to work on my garden. What is he, what is he coming for? The chickens. He stays by them. He stays by the chickens. This is the first time he's ever really left the, the chicken coop though. No, he's been over there. <laughs> he's like, wait for me friends. I'm go. Oh. He just wants to be friends, Ellie. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> She's afraid of him. So every year, and this is controversial, <laughs> I leave all my tools for gardening in the garden so that when I come out, they're always here. I, unfortunately, I bought some new gardening tools and they didn't make it to the garden yet. And somebody else has already got into them and lost them. But I'm still going to try my best. I leave the TV on. I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take the night with you on like this so let's go i'm sure you can take it five minutes into my gardening i saw the pig wandering over there hi what is the plan here sister this would be such a good pig area even though it's too small but it really would be because they could dig out here and i could lock them in ellie come on ellie come on I could put water in here and it'd be nice and cool. Be a perfect little pig pen. All right, come on with me. Found it. You guys, I have the best helpers in my garden. It's going so super fast. I've already got this little section cleared. But look at my helpers. This is what life is about. Sitting in the garden with all your little chickens and your rooster. <laughs> and they're helping me dig up and they're looking for worms. And every time I find a worm, I throw it for them. But it's so fun. I got a blister. That means you're working hard. I know. Look how much I got done. Yeah, that's good. A long way to go. A long way to go. I got a quarter. You gotta rip it up again. What? Try and rip it up. Why hard. don't I do all my stuff first and then you drag oh. it again with the tractor? Yeah. Because. You can do that. You can cut the grass. You know. All right. It's Before supposed rains. to pour at so one. It. Yeah, it's twelve now. It's supposed to pour at right one. Anyway, oh, all the chickens were here with me. It was so fun. We played a game where Ellie sat right in front of me to protect me in case any crazy chickens got ideas and wanted to attack me. I found a bunch of worms and I would say, 
and they would all run to me and I would throw the worm. <laughs> and then there were a couple of times that Ellie chased the chickens, but for the most part, she was a good little girl. This is my blister. Do you guys see it right in the middle of my hand? Right there. So I'm gonna leave it for now. Let the chickens come in here and dig a little and poop a little and I will come back. I don't know when I'm gonna come back. If I can come back this afternoon, then I will. I'll pad up my hand, but for now I'm gonna go get a snack. For my snack, I'm having goat's milk and pineapple. Fresh pineapple. I made an egg. So she took an egg and she soaked it in vinegar. I wonder if you could incubate it now. And then it turns into rubber, like pure rubber. I wonder if that happens to your insides when you eat vinegar, because I love vinegar. <laughs> but if you crack it, like if you smash it, what happens? It's back to an egg. It's back it's to It's cool a, though. Inside is a raw egg. But this it is, is really cool. It. Yeah. It just took the shell off. Yep, it took all the shell off and turned it. Smell it. It's weird. It's definitely weird. It's my favorite thing yeah, to do. It's definitely weird. I See how smushy it is? It was there for like a it's week. It's literally like a rubber ball. He's a bad guy. And just like that, the rain is starting. It was such a productive weekend. I loved this weekend. I, all the chickens are just hanging out over here. But I wanted to show you guys, this is the other place that I plan to dig up. Um, hopefully this week, but now that I have a blister, it might take a little bit longer. But I want, I think I'm thinking that this can be like a little garden for Sophie. I don't know, like, what it was before if it was like a compost pile or what it was oh but anyway i'm thinking about letting sophie have this for a little garden for herself because she's into gardening if gabby was i'd get her give her a space too but i think she'll really like it and then also do you guys remember last year this was all grass back here and the chickens have trampled it all down. So I'm gonna come in here as soon as I can with my little lawnmower and I'm gonna cut all this stuff and keep it all cut so that we kind of have more of a backyard. I've been trying to make a video on for Gabby's birthday, like a special birthday video for her. And I keep getting distracted and busy and doing other things. But I wanted to tell you guys two things. One, I've started drinking the goat milk. At first I was like drinking it just a little bit at a time because I was nervous about it. But once I started drinking it and I, I love it, it doesn't make me feel bad the way that cow's milk kind of does. I love milk. Cow's milk has always kind of made me like have um, inflammation and it just never made me feel very good. I'd always get like a bellyache a couple hours after I drank it, but I love it so much. Goat milk doesn't do that for me, but I do feel like goat milk is giving me energy in ways that I've used that I've been missing for the last year or so. So I feel like it's healing me from the inside out. That stuff is amazing. Also wanted to update you on the Sophie's horse buying journey thing so we talked to the owner of the horse we don't we don't want to jump into the whole thing like we don't want to just like try a horse and then lease it because uh, trying a horse for like a half an hour just isn't enough information to know if it's the right horse to spend the amount of time that she wants to spend to even just lease it so they said that we could try her um a couple more times before we decide so she's gonna try her a couple more times she's gonna ride her a couple more times spend a little bit of time with her figure her out and then we're gonna decide if we're gonna lease her i really like her though i don't see it going badly i've like i've talked to the farrier about her and showed our farrier her feet i've talk to other trainers like other professional people and sent them videos of Sophie and her going and moving to see like what they thought and everybody that I've shared every professional person that I've shared videos of this horse moving they say that they love how she moves so much that she's a really good mover so anyway a lot of positives there so it'll be a while before we figure it all out but I just want to keep you guys updated like I said I would um but yeah so she's gonna try her a couple more times before we decide Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep an eye open for Gabby's special video. It'll probably be up already when you see this, hopefully, as long as I don't get distracted again. But anyway, that is it. Thank you for spending Sunday with Laura. Don't you know that you're beautiful?